beautiful. So heart to heart conversation attraction. This is the energy um, and it's like an energy pool here that's happening. So, um, and then of course, stay optimistic about your love life. And then we do have soulmate here. Um, we do have unrequited love as well. I just feel like this is where it's a little complicated. So I feel right now, the energy is here. I don't feel a harsh energy between. I just feel like things are, are um, happening separately in each other's lives. And it's, it's, again, this to me feels like a protection here. So you guys are very much in your thoughts about each other and whatever is happening outside, just stay optimistic as well. Um, so let's get more in your energies, Aquarius. spirit all right we're gonna take it so yeah fulfillment of wishes and i i feel this is what's happening um the optimism here i think emotionally nine is the hermit so all the minor arcanas are an expression of the hermit and nine of cups is an expression of where we are at emotionally and so there is, there may be, you know, the protection is to get out of this mental conflict or emotional conflict, obstacle and challenge. And I feel this is where it's complicated for this connection. So um, there must be something on the outside happening. There's a barrier because here in this card, there's a barrier here, um, which is causing an emotional disconnect. Um, not that you guys don't care about each other. It's just it's it's just an interference right now you know when we're in this emotional space and um it's just a priority i just feel like it's an emotional priority and yeah of course we have third eye this card for me is always my mirror card so um there's a reason for it when my third eye card shows up in the read to me that shows that there's a lesson here we do have the power which is the strength card here um, there goes that empress and I think this is a mutual energy needing to make a decision with two of pentacles movement choices and decision in this and then three of pentacles recognition reward and I think and there is a decision the communication eventually is to make a decision but I also feel like whatever's happening in the outside for some of them this is financially you know maybe the obstacle is financially as well For some of you, I'm hearing um, the care of a parent that, you know, has taken a toll on someone and it's hard to, it's almost, it's just, a, it's hard to balance things out right now. So give me more of this Nine of Cups. Give me more of this Nine of Cups there. the tower i feel like there's yeah five of pentacles i feel emotionally there's a trigger here so i feel this emotion nine of cups feels like a catalyst for the both of you and this is like the tower is like something came there was an energy of something happening that put you both in this five of pentacles energy meaning a shift in life so something in the 3d needs to change we're more on this obstacle and challenge, right? Because we do have the five. Oh, wow. The fool just flipped out. It was in the bottom, actually. So the fool is very important. And this is obstacles and challenges. It's almost like I feel the fool showing up. It's this need to kind of just run with it um, despite of whatever the challenge is and not lose faith. Also, don't, you know, the fool has a free spirit. And don't let the challenge of life interfere with your spirit because then it interferes with our connections. And that's what I'm saying, you guys. That's what I, that's really the me main message where I feel that's where the complication is in terms of there is a low energy right now for the drive to life. I feel um, Empress, yes, solar plexus. 
solar plexus chakra that is the number three is the third chakra that's the empress so how do we fertilize how do we keep this energy of caring to move forward caring to um create caring to um you know still nurture ourselves and there's a lot about nurturing your material world that's why there's so many options and right now i feel this is where the distraction is so give me more of this third eye spirit Yeah, so obviously stability. Four of Pentacles with the third eye, seven of swords, and the Queen of Wands. I feel this is a low energy because Queen of Wands is always a high vibrant energy, upright, right? You guys know I don't have to do reversals, but with the cards surrounding cards, it means that the Queen of Wands right now is not having the drive and the mental, the the struggle of what's happening is having it's an energy of running away a, a, like it's almost like a desire to run away and feeling stuck but at the same time i love that the queen of wands here is because honestly the queen of wands even though she goes low she does have to remember to go come back high and so there has to still be the lesson in this third eye the lesson is to face this obstacle the tower and the five of pentacles the emotions that drive the cyclical emotions that that are going to be impacted by the events um in this connection and i think it's something that's just happening outside of you both um aquarius so give me more on this uh strength card yeah there's like a a loss of hope here with the strength i'm feeling give me more on the strength card and exhaustion it's like it's like an exhaustion. Can you run the strength card? Yeah. So again, with the emotions, we're emotionally exhausted, but we need to persevere. Six of Wands. Recognize, you know, the obstacle. Eight of Swords in the bottom, right? Don't get blocked. Emo don't allow things to emotionally block us. Remember who we are. Really... This perseverance with the strength is both Leo energy, I have to say, Leo energy that basically is asking you to embody or both to embody this perseverance to life, this resilience that's needed in order to get through this emotionally and not allow the emotions to block you to whatever these decisions, because I feel like there's just, again, about stability, Queen of Swords, obviously, I feel that you both are in this queen of swords energy and the, in, in, the, in the sense of you both been through a lot and it's just one of those things where when we go through a lot, it impacts us. And so we kind of get into this more um, icy cold energy versus our emotions, right? And right now we're in this queen of swords because our emotions just, we need to protect it. So we're, we're having a... a a wall or of our emotions because right now we can't i'm just feeling this energy of not being able to think straight we know we don't have all the answers right now and that's where the optimism comes in getting more of this empress energy there's just like lots of big decisions that it feels like yeah ten of pentacles three of swords you know, your person misses you very much. Um, but like I said, this could be around finances too. So Ten of Pentacles representing, there's a focus on needing to focus on stability right now to stabilize all aspects, right? All aspects. And for some of you, this is, like I said, some of you, it's um, uh, only, I mean, I'm not feeling everyone, but I do, I'm getting this message about uh, a parent and it could be a death of a parent or an ill parent, three of swords, that's interfering with the emotions, which rightfully so, rightfully so. Can you remember this? So here goes the communication that we're talking about. Heart to heart conversation, page of wands with this decision. So there is a, things need to eventually um, talk, be talked about. I think you guys will eventually get to this place. Whatever this interference is, Aqua. Um, 
it, you know, for some of you, it could possibly just be work, you know, finances that have to be resolved, but um, there is definitely an obstacle here. And it's just, sometimes it could be our, uh, whatever that this tower is, again, and it, it could be finances, someone lost a job, but it's going to prioritize everything, right? What we need to do first for our stability will will be will surpass priority over anything else that you know we just can't give its attention to so here more on this movement choices and decision here why the two of pentacles so they go back and forth oh my god two of pentacles again they go back and forth whether to really open this dialogue here and it's not that there isn't a desire. It's just, it feels like with this Two of Pentacles, a lot going on and just not the right time. You know, very nine trials and tribulations, Knight of Wands, just exhausted. They want to connect. Um, they want to reason with this Three of Pentacles. Let's see. Good morning, this Three of Pentacles. Oh, dear. Yeah, they want to reason, Page of Cups, King of Cups, and Three of Pentacles. So they do want to reason. Um, this heart-to-heart -heart conversation will come about. You, this energy is just an, uh, a, a busy person. There are a lot of emotions, and I think you guys will come to an understanding about what this person's been going go, going through or what you've both been going through because I just feel like there is an, a mutual energy of, we're both resolving stuff in life right now. And four of cups, it's just, they they can't, I just feel like this is the distraction, right? They can't really focus on what they know is there, but I feel an emotional block. And this is where they need to nurture the nine of cups. They need to nurture this, this emotional block, which honestly can, can be some level of anxiety and um, depression. So let's see what's the untold message of the heart of your person in the in the ne very near future. So there's a timing here. And Aquarius, I think you're the only sign um, that usually gets such timing in reads for me. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, trust. I have a hard time trusting anyone. I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah, this is a person who obviously needs to resolve within first. It's just the way they operate, right? Influences, yeah, I'm distracted right now. Interference, there is a distraction. And regrets, I should have, could have, would have. You know, they. there is, um, and I love it. There goes that fool's approach. I, I'm ready to take a leap of faith and risk it all for you. And I feel like that's this energy of moving through. Once they get into this, this stage where they're ready to work things out, I feel that once the conversation is when they're finally emotionally ready. Because King of Cups and Page of Cups, it's like, okay, you know, it could be a shift in the cosmos, you guys, because I don't know where we're standing right now with the cosmos. But something energetically will change and they will take this leap over, you know, this obstacle, you know, and just come to terms that these distractions are going to exist, right? I'm distracted right now. They're going to exist and there is regret for being the way they are. But again, timing in the near, very near future. So this is where this person stands right now. Okay, so let's see what your guidance is. Good guidance for Aquarius. Oh, I did want to get a blockage, but let's get your guidance first. Since I pulled these out, what's the guidance for Aquarius? So we have truth. Yeah, the time has come to be honest and to face the truth within yourself. What is what is it that you really want? Speak your truth and be your own authentic self. Step into your light and reflection. So again a reflective time i feel for both parties that's that's what queen of swords does queen of swords spends time alone um, and again representing that you both are two people that have gone through a lot and truth it represents queen of swords energetically 
So reflection, stand still and watch what you're doing and who you are becoming. Only when we see ourselves, how we truly are, is when we can change things. So there's definitely a reflective stage here with that hermit energy about our emotions. And yes, meditation, search within and find peace, wholeness and love. It's a quiet time. Um you know, right now, because it's like, we need to resolve. I really feel this emotion, the nine of cups here, the emotions kind of need to be resolved here. It just is. Emotions are taking priority. And yeah. sometimes people need time to reflect and think about things, you know? So let's see about another guidance for you. And it's four cards. Yeah, onward, no need to overthink, move forward with a decision. And clearly, eventually this energy needs to exist. And I do feel it's mutual. So you guys will make a decision. Eventually, com communication will come in. Right now, too much is going on. But either way, it's you have to move onward, right? This person's just moving forward. There is a forward movement that is still going to happen, right? So no need to overthink move forward with a decision and just keep going and, and you know even keep going about your life here um aquarius because you know we still have to move right we still have to move stay optimistic not you know it's our journey it's just what we're supposed to do you know and remember so aqua i'm gonna leave it there please like share subscribe click that bell button if you enjoy my frequency